macOS is amazing, coming complete with many useful built-in tools and features. Though I keep coming across some pesky things in my day-to-day -day usage that should have been fixed long ago, but they still aren't. In this video, I'll share amazing apps that I've been using to fill those gaps and transform the way you use your Mac. First, the default macOS screen recording tool has a few limitations and it's not the most intuitive thing to use. For example, if I try to record the audio of a video while it's playing, I can do so by utilizing the internal mic when the video is played through speakers. However, the tool itself doesn't offer internal audio recording, so instead, I've been using CleanShot. This app is feature-packed and it kind of has six apps in one, and it allows you to not only capture screen recording really quickly, but you can also record and cut videos, annotate, and save screenshots to the dedicated CleanShot cloud. When taking a screenshot, you see that there are tons of options for you to choose from. You can select the area, full screen, window, a scrolling window, previous area, and you can even set a timer if needed. Then, right after taking a screenshot, a small pop-up window appears on the screen, and by clicking on it, you can view what you just captured, click the pencil icon to make annotations, or click the share icon to share. CleanShot also offers customization options in settings, and you can customize your wallpaper, create shortcuts, and a lot more. And something that I really like is that it hides the desktop icons whenever you take a screenshot or start a screen recording, ensuring a clutter-free recording experience. This is definitely a must-have for content creators, for example. Now, something else that is missing on macOS is a clipboard manager, which saves clipboard history, saves all links, pictures, text, sorted. So for that, I've been using Paste, which is a clipboard manager that goes beyond the basics. Not only does Space remember your clipboard history, but it also adds an efficiency layer as it allows you to convert formatted text to plain text and copy and paste multiple items simultaneously. So whether you're dealing with links, images, or text, Paste simplifies the process. The app is also highly customizable. You can set your own shortcuts for fast actions, create unlimited lists to manage your favorite clippings, and tailor the settings to match your preferences perfectly. Next, it would be great to have a built-in menu bar organizer to hide icons when the menu bar grows in size. Currently, I own a 13-inch MacBook Air, which has a notch, and sometimes the menu bar icons end up being hidden behind it, which is totally inconvenient. Fortunately, I found a solution for this and I've recently downloaded Bartender. This app lets you organize, search, and use your menu bar icons efficiently as you decide which icons should stay visible and which of them should go into the collapsible bartender bar. You can also choose the order you like for your menu bar items by simply pressing command and moving them, and the app is super easy to use, it has a minimalist interface, and it keeps your desktop tidy. Be aware that because of internal changes in macOS, Bartender 5 could only be designed to work with the newest version, macOS Sonoma. Now, Mac users often need to control external monitors, and it's display brightness, contrast, but these settings are hidden way too deep in macOS, and it's not the most efficient and intuitive thing to do. But there is an app that really helps with this, and it's called Display Buddy. This app simplifies adjusting display settings directly from your menu bar, eliminating the need to navigate through system settings. You can create presets for different work, lighting, gaming, automate adjustments, and control multiple displays seamlessly. And you can also set up a keyboard shortcut to have access to the settings you need even quicker. This is a must-have app for those who want better controls without the hassle. And if you're an Apple user, you know that Siri kind of lacks some knowledge. We all know it's there, but it's a little useless sometimes compared to other solutions on the market. So recently, I've discovered Typing Mind, which is an AI chat app that offers a seamless experience with a new user interface. You can interact with built-in AI characters, use community prompts, and perform web searches without leaving the app. 
You also have many customization options, which allow you to adjust response styles, include previous messages for context, organize chats into folders, and more. Typey Mind is a go-to solution for a more personalized and efficient virtual assistant experience. And last but not least, it would be nice to have better window management for snapping drop zones, so I've been using Better Touch Tool. It allows you to customize keyboard shortcuts in different ways for different apps, mouse gestures, touch bar widgets, remote triggers, and more. Something cool is that it supports a range of input devices, so you can use your trackpad, magic mouse, regular mouse, keyboard, touch bar, iPhone or iPad, as well as Siri and Apple remote to precisely trigger the actions you want. Better Touch Tool can really help you tailor your workspace to perfection. And there you have it. These are six incredible apps that address common functionality gaps in macOS and transform your Mac into a productivity powerhouse. Whether you're a content creator, developer, or just someone who loves an organized desktop, these apps have something for everyone. If you're interested in any of the apps that I've mentioned here today, they're all available on SetApp. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates and tips on how to stay productive with the help of the best tools for your Mac. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.